Um, and as you can see, uh, Cameron here thought he'd take that opportunity. And it, as you can see, it's not going too well. I'm currently growing some cows. That's right, growing some cows. But I think now it's finally time for us to start this statue. By the way, I got oh. a uh, phantom membrane. I don't even what know. What does a phantom membrane do? What do you use it for? Probably nothing at this point. Maybe something. Maybe something. But what the heck am I putting? Here we go. Alright guys, so it has happened again. <laughs> Whilst I was watching YouTube, I was attacked. This time, it was by Tasty Bacon. And so, as a bit of context in the chat earlier, he was asking if he could have my head. And I said, well, you know, we can just trade heads, because that's what I've been doing with others. And so, instead of that, he decides to find me in the death games and hunt me down. Yes! <laughs> now that that's done, let's get on to some building. Over here, um, what we've had is just this button hooked up. To some pistons with enough of a delay that that will hit, that will activate after that. And there they are on the ground there. And that was all that it did, so go boom, and then boom, and then you just replant them. So I'm not sure if we're going to have to change the redstone, but that's okay because I like the idea that I have for this build. Um, the other issue might be the cows actually, because they're pretty close, and I don't know how we're going to bring this in. Um, but pretty much my idea is is pretty much a totem pole. Um, for those of you who don't know what a totem pole is, it's a piece from my knowledge at least, it's a piece of it's a piece of wood, uh, other resources, which they carve and paint and all. And they do all these designs. Um, it was done by an indigenous tribe from around the regions of, you can think of modern day um, Canada, the of British uh, Columbia in Canada. Oh, actually, actually, you know what? I'll just put up a map here and show you guys. So, you see, um, this is Canada over here, right? And America's down this way. So if you go off to the side here, we've got these little islands over here. And don't mind that I'm just running around while doing this. Actually, you know, I'll start the build while talking about this. Um, uh, how I think the build's gonna go. Um, so yeah, over here there's these uh, these islands here. You can see it marked with the Graham Island. Um, and so this is actually called Haida Gawai. Down here at the bottom, Gaia Hana's National Park Reserve and Haida Gaia Reserve Parks. Um, and that's for the indigenous tribes. So, what they do with these totem poles is that they would they would make these markings on them, right? And these markings could be mythological beings or um, their ancestors. And so they'd put their faces on these totem poles in recognition of their ancestors and their traditions and their culture. So what we're gonna do is do something very similar to that, but we're and we're gonna be putting the heads that we gained on that. So these are kind of like the ancestors of this world, you know. And that's pretty much my idea for it. Um, these people, they are actually very, very smart people, and their design skills are incredible. If you ever want to look into them. Just uh, search up the hater. I don't know how to pronounce it because um, I'm a simpleton, but they are really, really good at designing, um, at design, and the amount of work that they put into these totem poles is really cool. And their culture as a whole is pretty awesome. Um, and so what we're, what my plan is is to have the heads that we've got. Now let's just put mega grands in the front now, yeah. is to have these heads going around this pole 
and that's going to be our totem pole. Like that, so we're going to have all the heads going up this totem pole. Um, Alright, so I'm going to be building this out of dark oak, and I'm going to do the strip as you can see here. I probably shouldn't have placed these because now I'm going to go back up. Um, but I just wanted to give an idea of it. So, I'm going to use this because um, it's similar, it's at least similar to some of the totem poles I've seen. I've got a reference image on my side here, and so I'm just comparing. So I think we'll do one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, I needed one more. Six. And so this would be the top of the pole. And they have like a little beak for some of them, because usually the um, the one at the top is sometimes a bird from what I've seen. So that can be a beak, and then a few down, like there, they have wings for the bird. Um, something I forgot to mention is that the hater, they have their own language as well. And you can see their culture all over the islands there. They have they also have some origin in Alaska, Alaska from memory. So, uh, wink wink, trill bites. <laughs> um, okay, let's see how that looks. Not exactly what I was going for. How am I going to get back up? I guess we're going to have to pull up. Can't go any further. It's probably the wing in my way. Um, maybe if we... Let's just do this. How's that instead? The wings are pretty nice, I think. Oh, gosh dang it, where is he? Um, hmm. Oh, and you know what we can do instead? Instead of the bird's head, we can do our head! Mm hmm <laughs> That's a good idea. Uh, let me up here. I forgot how I got up before. Here it is. And we're going to have to take all this down. Um, I'm not too sure, um, why they put certain heads at the top. But I think it's fitting to have our head at the top. <laughs> I just thought of something else. <laughs> Come on, Red, get your head on there. Can I jump onto Red's head and Kaz's head? Oh, no. Nope. That was a bad idea. Can I do parkour between the heads? <laughs> to get up? Uh, no! Come on, Kaz, just let me up. Ah! Nope, I'm failing. I don't think I can do it ahead there. And so we're not going to have a head on the little arrows bit. Oh, I might as well put my... Actually, no, I'll put my other head lower down because, you know... We don't need two of my heads being so gross. Let's just, you know, let's just move Kaz's head then. Kaz's head have, has lost her spot, and we'll put that head there, and then we'll put that one there. Yeah, that's kind of working out how I wanted. Ah, right, you wreck it! That's our little totem pole. And now we can build a little base for the totem pole. And then around. And the base is going to have to come a bit further out. Let's mix it up a bit. Um, I don't like the whole bases of just... The whole thing where some people just do nothing but stairs. I don't really like that look, so I'm going to put some full blocks in here. And since we... And I'm also going to make another... Um, another... Intuition choice? No? Initiative choice? I'm not. To turn this to, to stripped because I don't like the base. 
the base jungle wood. There we go. And that's basically my idea. Hey guys, so we are now done with the totem pole. I also moved the cows that were here. Um, and starting a few other things around the island. Um, this was not me, this was someone else. Um, but we won't get to see that yet. Hopefully next episode we'll get to see that. What that's all about. But um, for this, I added the stone slabs and some more shape to it here. So I tried to do a similar thing with the front to the sides, except of course this has the door. Um, and it worked out pretty well. Um, I had a few more heads including Tasty Bacons after his shenanigans area. He deserves to be on the totem pole. Um, and this is now working. So if I right click this button here, it is going to harvest the cocoa beans and we can put them back. Then we have some chest here to store them. Um, I think this should be ample space because we're only getting I think we're getting 18 or something each harvest, so there's not much, but we don't really need cocoa beans, it's just the heck of having cocoa beans. Um, I've also got some space over here that I'm using for Neverwood at the moment, since there's way too much space here, just from that Neverwood farm there. But let's take a look at the redstone here. So I left it uncovered. It, uh, it's uncovered here, so we can have a quick look at it. So, what we've got is that's where the button is on that um, piece of wood there. And so that's going to harvest, uh, that's going to harvest, that's going to power, mm, power that redstone repeater, which goes to this block, and so that block will be powered, which means it will power that block, uh, power this redstone. Oh, let's put this lever in there, just so I can show you guys what would it, what it looks like when it's powered. Um, there we go. Oh yeah, probably grab those. And don't worry about the redstone torch burning out. That's fine. Um, so, like I said, that's powered. Which will power that, which will power this. Now, this actually powers this wood here. Um, so redstone dust, if it's a singular piece, it powers... Ooh, you know what? take some of this out real quick and I can show you guys what I mean, what it does. So redstone dust, if it's a singular piece, it can power all tiles adjacent to it and the one underneath it. So this single bit of dust here will power all these pieces, no, 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 no not that one, it doesn't power that. So a single dust can power all those blocks. So all this cobble that's what a single piece of redstone can power. However, if you do multiple pieces of redstone, uh, let's do it a bit further. So let's do it here, I guess. Um, so if you have redstone that's going like this, it's only going to power those blocks because it's going in a run now. So it's only going to be powering them. It would not power this. Mm -hmm. So in circ in situations like this, um, we can use this t this uh, technique here to power this torch. So since we said that that redstone will power all those blocks, all we need to do is put a torch on one of these, and then whenever that's powered, like if we do this that torch is going to turn off. Um, and so what that does, is since this is off, it's now unpowering that repeater and unpowering all these repeaters. Mm -hmm. Which will turn on these torches and then that's going to power those blocks, which is going to power the pistons there to push them down. And so the second part of this when this repeater powers that block, it's also going to power this. So, then that goes down, sorry, and this is why you heard that torch burn out, because I've got the piece of wood here. That's fine, because that's not going to ever burn out when we're actually using it correctly. The only reason it 
Um, the only reason it burnt out is because this is constantly unpowered. Whereas with a button it will only be powered for a second, so it's fine. But if we could do that, it will show you, we'll be able to show you what it does. So, then that torch powers this round of repeaters, which are all on four tick delays to delay the pulse. And then it powers these pistons down here. And that's what gives you the effect of it getting pushed down and then up. Because of the delay on there. So if we take this off, pay attention, so this is going to go, and then about a second later that one will go. So boom, goes up, up, nearly instantly. And that's how we want it set up. And that is that, guys. So, now that that's done, we can cover this up. And while I'm covering this up, maybe I'll let you guys in on a on a little secret, a little secret that I want to, another little secret that I want to cover up. <laughs> so, earlier you saw when Tasty um, came and tried to kill us, right? Well, that's not the only time he's tried that. Because the next day, the very next day, he came back for another attempt. This man is trying to murder me. <laughs> Not just in-game, but IRL. <laughs> so, to end the episode, we'll just have a look at that clip, and I will see you guys next time. Bye. So guys, I don't remember what I was doing. Um, but I was definitely listening to music, so that's why this is muted again, as Tacey comes up and scares us. <laughs> There's this horrible tendency that whenever I'm attacked, it's always when I'm watching something or listening to music. And Tasty is trying to keep his distance, it could, probably because he learned not to have a sword fight with us. Um, so he's trying to keep at range. But... <laughs> I don't know, like, maybe I just can't listen to music or watch YouTube on the Vintage Craft server, because you never know when something's going to happen, right? And so here I notice that he's staying in the water because he doesn't want uh, the fire to kill him. But, because of that, um, because he took damage, I felt like his food would be down, so he'd be hungry. Because whenever you take damage, it takes your hunger down. So I jumped on him immediately. I'm trying to keep on him here because I know that his hunger's down so he's not going to regenerate health. And as long as he's blocking, although I don't hit him, um, I do know he's not going to be able to regenerate health. So if worse comes to worse, I can just eat and then have him slowly die to hunger. <laughs> um, and then there, his shield broke <laughs> because he blocked so much and <laughs> we pick up the kill on him. <laughs> Uh, I had to get all the stuff here, um, and we replaced the shield and everything else, but, uh, yeah, that's the second clip of him attacking us, so we got two tasty bacon heads, so much for them being rare, I've already got two of them, jeez. Well, I actually have one, because I sold one back to him, um, because I felt bad, because the Death Games armor was very underpowered, I think it only had protection free on it? And the sword uh, maybe had sharpness too. Oh, not the sword. Sword didn't even have sharpness. I think we just saw in the crypt there. Um, and I think the bow had power too. I don't remember. But either way, it was really underpowered because if you watch this back, this crypt back, um, he did about a heart and a half damage to me when he first surprised me. But when I healed up, he did absolutely no damage to me. And that was partly due to the god armor. Um, that I have on, and the weapon's not just simply not being good enough. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing Tasty die again, um, and I will see you in the next one.